Mercedes is one of the top class diesel engine producers. Their diesels are amongst the most reliable out there and certainly make owners proud. Many of their engines hide a ton of potential inside and only God knows where the guys in Mercedes could even imagine back then what tuners would be pushing out of their most reliable engines ever. Who do you think of when a diesel engine is mentioned? The invention of Rudolf Diesel caught on and many automakers fine-tune it into a pure perfection. It may not sound all that refined to petrolhead's ears, but brands like Mercedes-Benz showed us the hidden potential of passenger car diesel engines. It began with a 2.5 litre 45 horsepower OM138 in 1935, which proved as a more fuel efficient equivalent to auto running engines, and with the IDI technology, they were made until the early 2000s. One of the last engines with the indirect injection system was the OM606, built between 1993 and 2001. Basically, the same technology was also used in a 4 cylinder OM604 and 5 cylinder OM605. The base consists of a cast iron closed deck block paired with an aluminum head. This head, compared to its predecessor, the OM603, has got twin camshafts operating 24 valves in total. There's not much fancy stuff inside. The block houses a cast iron crankshaft in two bolt main caps, regular cast aluminum pistons and iron rods, changing on camshafts and an indirect injection system with pre-chambers inside the head. These are meant to muffle down the knocking diesel sound. There is an electronic injection pump and in its base variant it doesn't even have a turbocharger. This OM606.910 made 136 horsepower and 210 Nm of torque. However, what makes the OM606 such a good engine is its relative simplicity and robustness. The engine block was derived from the M103 and M104 which is able to make a 4 digit horsepower rating. It is an all squared cylinder design and it likes revs quite a bit. The rev limiter hits at 5500 rpm which is quite high for a diesel. The OM606 can sound very close to a 2JZ with a proper exhaust. <laughs> The turbo variant was equipped with stronger pistons and beefier rods which are very appreciated when going full crazy with the tuning. The NA variant was sold in the W124 and W210E class, but the more potent unit was installed in the W10, the W140S class and W463G wagon. Would you want a C class with such an engine? A turbo OM605 is to be found in the W202 short of one cylinder. On the inside, the 606 is incredibly tough motor and can make 400 to 500 wheel horsepower without opening. From the factory, the Triple K K14 Turbo makes about 1.3 bar of boost. The stock turbo should be enough for 200 to 220 horsepower. Doubling the stock power is a piece of cake which requires a large turbo, a remap and should be fine with the stock 6mm fuel pump elements. Always consider what you want and then what you need for a build of your choice. The potential of the OM606 unleashes when the stock EDC, electronic diesel control, is ditched and replaced with an all type. It is not that the EDC could not provide such a potential. However, the mechanical unit offers more straightforward tuning. It kinda is like a carburetor that doesn't need a chip tuner. The magic happens when the pump gets modified by guys like Dieselmaken from Sweden or Diesel Pump UK. Stock elements of the 606 pump are 6mm or 5.5mm on the OM603 mechanical pump and the fun starts with 7mm elements. 
It increases the power potential of the engine to about 500 horsepower with a right turbo. That's also about the limit of the internals and for the good health of the rods, it is advised to make a full boost about 3000 rpm. If going for even more power and or track use, 7.5 or 8mm elements will provide sufficient flow for over 600 horsepower builds. Often these engines are equipped with an aftermarket Halsey turbo like an HX30, 35 or 40. Something to consider is to secure the crankshaft and camshaft gears by pins. They are both simply pressed on, and to be 100% sure, it is a good idea to do. As the bottom end lacks a proper stiffening, the main girdle would be a welcome element when making big power. The same could be said about the head gasket, which should be changed for a proper one with fire rings. Compared to modern diesels, the OM606 benefits from the ability to maintain usable power band beyond 5000 rpm. With a proper set of valve springs, the engine should be rev happy to 6000 rpm like nothing and there are examples running beyond 7000 as well. Revs are always an answer for power and so when the 606 can make torque up there, it will certainly create a lot of ponies as well. It is quite unusual for diesel, as the fuel burns a lot slower compared to gasoline, but it can be done. Besides the valve springs, redrilling pre-chamber holes by 20% will help significantly with efficiency and faster burn. The OM606 is a ridiculously capable engine, but it has its inherited disadvantages, which can neither be overlooked nor completely got rid of. It is the vibration and resonance that kills these engines. The sheer force hammering the crankshaft is much stronger compared to a petrol engine as the combustion chamber pressures are much higher. A lot of internal modifications would be needed to go 700 horsepower more, possibly custom forged pistons, a reduced compression ratio, direct injection and the bottom end stiffening. Diesel may can crack the engine block at 5.4 bar of boost. On the other hand, Diesel Pump UK was able to make 733 crank horsepower at 4.1 bar of boost. A thousand horsepower on the OM606 would be incredibly tough, but imagine that the British build has as many as 1147 Nm of torque at the crankshaft. <laughs> OM606 is one of the last engines of the old generation of diesel. It is capable of running over 300,000 miles without major service needed and would return as much as 30 mpg with ease. At 245 kg fully dressed, it is not even that heavy and is a common swap into chassis beyond the Mercedes brand. People truly love their 6-cylinder knockoff.